Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Ravida. We are gonna win. Maybe. We'll see. I believe we, yeah, we, uh, we've used up all our resources. We gotta go and get some more stuff up in here, up in here. But alas, I mean, we have two new things to start with. I don't know if there is a, I think there's a way to check what they do in the run, even if we didn't get them in the run, right? I'm pretty confident that there is. Let us find out. Let us find out indeed. All right. Also, let's see. Where are we? Where's the mouse? Ironically, it's out of the window because I uh, I was going to go here and check. Mouse lock is a thing. There we go. Just want to make that clear. Mouse lock is a thing. I guess I missed it. Uh, <laughs> like a big old dummy. And the second thing, what is uh, the collection here? Increase your dash speed. Also, increase max HP and your fire rate. I mean, that sounds nice. That sounds really nice. Just a whole extra heart container just to start with right off the bat. Sounds awesome. Sounds awesome indeed. And what, was it 10%? 10% attack speed too? Dash speed is something interesting. I want to... Okay, so we literally just move quicker or is it the cooldown between... That is the old real question right there. I tried to turn it up just a little bit, but I think I gotta turn <laughs> turn it down just a just a hair for myself. I apologize, everybody. All right. Okay, so we got a five percent damage up literally immediately. I uh, am very excited about that. So these should not activate, right? Yeah. Okay. Also, I don't know where all of the secret rooms can actually be. That is the good old question. I think that they are probably anywhere just like that you would normally expect uh, like a typical door or something. He shoots above. We good. All right. Yep. All right. You know what? This seems like a good clean start. I feel like the items that we have are, uh, are powerful. And we also got that 5% right away. I mean, it's really... It is very hard to be upset with that. Oh, God. Come here. I'm going to wait a second. There shouldn't be uh, a danger if we wait a little bit there. Just want to make sure we get this. All right. No secret rooms. No secret rooms at all. But we're almost at the point where we can actually heal up already, which is nice. Okay, we got our item room, though. Shall I? I'll risk some biscuit. We'll go for two. Sacrifice of two. Range up by 10%. That actually sounds really, really nice. Because the, uh, you know, it's it's intentional. It's intentional. Our bullets do not go very far. It's uh, I know when we played the demo, a lot of people have mentioned that uh, as something that they found bothersome. Is that the bullets didn't go quite too far. But the thing is, if you have too much range in this game, like, that could be a little bit too easy, potentially. Prison key. Hey, slime ball. So wait, oh, is it, does it do that, that system where the unlocks drop from specific enemies? I always really like that. It makes it fun to uh, uh, actually go out seek, kind of like secret hunting. Though in a game like this, it's not like you really have control over what you're going to hunt. It's not like Monster Hunter or anything. But, you know, in your head, you're like, you see that enemy and you know that there's actually a chance you might get that one drop that you need or something like that. I actually, I really like that. And this 10% range up, I feel like is... Uh, Sleeper OP. Maybe not OP, but, you know. Super sleeper strong. I think it's uh, maybe one of the better stats in, in the game we may even come to find. We'll see. We will see. We will see. Obviously, damage is always fun. I'm waiting to heal, by the way, until we get full meter. Just to just want to double check that and see exactly how that, uh, how that functions. Oh, boy. We on that wall. Oh, that was, that was tight. Okay, so the gray went away. Gray, gray went away. We're almost at the point where we can do our uh, our focus. I believe that thing in the upper left is a, uh, a to the left of our hearts. It to me looks like a slot for. Uh, hello, ceiling boy. To me, it looks like a slot for like an active item or something. God, the music really does slap. Every, like just, I mean, the whole game just slaps. Is how it is. Oh, okay. So this, I wish we had that uh, the wall piercing shots now. Whoop, whoop. 
All right. Clean. Clean, 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 clean. Clean and easy. Clean and easy. And another damage up on top of it. We, we're full... We're full up, aren't we? I'm actually not 100% positive, but I'm pretty sure we are. And yeah, we do have to sacrifice a heart for this. I'll do it. Dynamite? Uh, fire rate... Your bullets explode, but reduces your rate of fire. Whoa! You can break items for souls. I did not realize. I did not realize that at all. Whoop. Uh, well. Okay, so yeah, it, it just fills up a full heart. Somebody said it gives you a new heart container, and I, I thought that didn't seem right. That seemed way too strong. But it gives you a full, a full heart heal, though, uh, which maybe is what was meant. Uh, I'd happily sacrifice for shields if that's here. What is this? Corrupted get a curse. Your dash cooldown gets reduced by 20%. Corrupted get one curse. What? I'm cursed. Increased shop prices. Ah, that's always my favorite, like, kind of style of curse system. Uh, I, and, and, you know, one thing about Gungeon that I don't, I don't love is just that jammed enemies just have a lot more health, you know? And that's what you get as a penalty for getting cursed. I don't, you know, like, the, the system of the, you know, the Lord of the Jam showing up when you're at max or something. I, I like that kind of idea more, and this this is a little bit more in line with that. It's, you know, it's like the Undermine system. Uh, not to compare every roguelike to every other roguelike that exists. Come here. But, you know, it's super easy to do when you play a lot of roguelikes. Okay. Uh, we're actually in a, a little weird spot there. I do love how uh, we can actually be decently far away, and we get free hits in this phase right there. That's important. I do have to pause to move my microphone. Okay. All right. Oh, I don't think we get anything for, for perfecting the boss aside from just maybe like feeling pretty good about myself. Oh, that was tight. That was tight. That was tight. Okay. I'm glad that wasn't a, a slam. I think we maybe would have gotten hit by it. Oh my God. We can actually hit him. I mean, we can we could anyways if we do that. Uh, the wall jump. I always forget how uh, how vertical we really can get. Okay, here comes. Here comes the slam. Oh, it's too close, too close, too close. Too easy. Piece of cake. Get out of here. Get first boss, punk. Denial obliterated. Got two damage ups and a uh, and a key there. So it doesn't seem like there's really any um, any reason to save your heals at half. I mean, like, maybe it'd be cool if you got some kind of slight benefit, but I feel like uh, getting a heart and a half, for example, as a, as a benefit, that feels like it might be a little too strong, but there's nothing else you can really do. I don't know, maybe if you heal up all the way, like you heal when you're at full, it replenishes you to like 40%, or, or not 40%, 25% or something. I don't know. Some kind of reward for doing it at full instead of half would be neat. Let me have a look at that. Speed, max HP, fire rate. What does the uh, upgrade do? An extra 10% to the fire rate. Extra 10% to the range. Dash cooldown gets reduced even more. Uh... I'm actually going to upgrade our range another 10%. I feel like that could be really, really helpful for us. Wait. Should we... Maybe, maybe we should do one more. It being max hearts is really kind of... You know, it's quite nice. Uh, is it up to... Yeah, it's up to 30%. If this, if this upgraded your max HP too, I'd be like, Oh, hell yeah, of course. I mean, 
reducing that another 15% seems nice, but let's uh, let's cool it for now. Maybe we're gonna get uh, a, a neat, more neat item. You know, maybe we'll get something that I think is stronger yet that we can upgrade. We'll just keep that 10% for now. We'll see how it goes. Another 10% fire rate would be really, really good though. Alas, alas. whoop -a! Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Let's see that range in action. Yeah, it's a it's a proper gun now, shooting out fully ranged bullets. The accuracy is not... It, it, it does not lend itself amazingly for the range, but I'm sure that there is an accuracy item as well. Okay. I do not remember what you do. Oh, spikes, I see him, but only at the last second there. Okay, we got ourselves an item unlock key. Awesome. Mother's Idol. Mama's Idol. It's -a me. I guess I should have checked if there was a secret room over there by the spikes. I just in my head, I was like, ah, there can't be. Of course there can't be. Ooh. It's a little spooky. I don't know what quite what they do. Well, whatever they do, they can't shoot through walls, so we're all good there. But yeah, since there's no penalty uh, for... Restoring it half, or no benefit for restoring it full is probably the more, uh, more fitting way of putting it. We should just heal every time we're at half there, right? Like, why why not? I mean, the, the reason there's probably two slots there is to reward you slightly for conserving. Uh, like, every slot there basically says, here you go, you get even more of a reward when you're at full HP for playing safely and playing well. Uh, that's what every notch is there. Sure. Bap, 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 bap. What do you got here? Converter, if you get hit without a shield. Wait. If you get hit without a shield, instead of taking damage, turn a max HP into shields instead. Shields too. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know. Can we sacrifice health like crazy when we have no heart containers? Is it like, is it Binding of Isaac rules in that, in that extent? Like, I, I don't know that I can really uh, offer anything here. I think we need to actually be careful because I just, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. I'm trying to picture if I think this item is any good. I'll have to see it in action, I guess. If you get hit when you don't have shields, we gain two shields. Is it is two full shields the equivalent of two hits, or is it the equivalent of four hits? Because that, if it's the equivalent of four hits, that's pretty good, I think, because you're still sacrificing heart contain or heart containers though which can be used to upgrade abilities yeah I'm really I'm really trying to figure that out we'll, we'll just have to see don't remember what these guys do I don't know if I even know oh this range up is so handy I think they explode when they die so far so fine was that a cursed enemy Hold on. Does Cursed Enemy have more HP? Hold on. Did I accidentally compliment and then we, we have to deal with higher HP enemies anyways? I'm not sure. Oh, it's... God, it's so satisfying to see an item or a, a chest that you don't have to sacrifice HP for after sacrificing HP. However, it, it just had spirits. I believe, I believe it just had spirits. Where are we at? Okay, what are you? You are blue slime. We are fine. Abuse the range. Abuse the range. I think I'm showcasing pretty well exactly why the range of the gun is is why it is at, at base there. Uh, sure. Boop. Small chance to not take damage. Ten oh, ooh, ooh, that's so expensive for that. 10% is not a lot. Oh, that's so expensive. I don't know, man. Not for 10%. I like. I know it's good, and if we upgrade it and it goes up to 20%, then that's like... 
it's getting there, but that's quite an investment. That's quite an investment. I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to be a little bit more... Ah, it's a cursed enemy. Hey, he's got, oh, he's got jam shots too. Oh, heck. Oh, heck. Whoop. All right, we in there though. So far, so fine. So far, so fine. Is that another damage up? Good. You love to see it. Whoop. I do like the, uh, yeah, I, I like the curse system of the, uh, getting the little tiny penalties of some random tiny, like, minuscule thing, as long as they're balanced out properly. I don't know what the shop price, wait, is that, is that what it was? Was it normally a, a one heart cost? I see, I see, I see. That could, that could be the case. Maybe that item normally does cost one. Okay, I don't even know what that room is. Cursey boy. Okay. Got himself a heal. Put it on now. What are you doing? Stay at a range. As if you have a chance. Okay. I mean, it's... I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's worth the key or not. But, of course, we got to check it out. What? Look, friends. Another lost soul. Are you here to rescue us? To save us from our fate? We are weak. This is all the tower has left of us. Perhaps if you shared some of your HP, it'll restore us. You willing to part with one HP of yours in order to bring back this lost soul? Yeah. Sure, dude. Thanks a bunch for the save. We are known as the Tinkerer. We usually take care of repairs around the station. Meet us there You will, if you want to talk some more. Oh, hell yeah. We just... Sacrifice one HP to get uh, a new NPC back at home. Absolutely. Of course I will do that trade. Of course I will do that trade. Uh-oh. Uh, 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 guess I'll die. Is it just one curse? Enemies have a damaging aura around them? Oh, no. Shoot bullets vertically while dashing. Okay, well, it's very cool looking. Oh, shoot, we have a boss. Please, oh no, does he have the damaging aura? Hello there, infested keeper of rage. Okay, we got a platform here. God, this range is really nice. Uh, where's he at? Okay. Not too bad there. Did, wait, did he just show up out of the ground where I was? Was there... Was there, there I hope there was something that said that he was going to do that. I think there probably was. Oh! All right. Did it happen again? It just happened again. Am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing some indicator. I hope... Ah, is that ground thing the indicator? It's a little, little tough to see. I like this attack. Okay. Fine. Oh, my God. I can't believe we didn't take damage when we dashed into him there. Yeah, keep going with that attack, mister. I like it. Nice and breezy. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Three times I got hit by that attack because I didn't see it. Typically means that there's a, uh, a little bit of a, <laughs> a little bit of a clarity. Whoopsie. I, I would probably say that that should be like a just a little bit more clarified. Boop, boop. I just like I literally could not see where he was supposed to be coming up, uh, and I was looking for it. I might be stupid. I might be stupid. Whoop. We early access, though. These things are all subject to change. Whoop, 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 whoop. I mean no harm, then. Secret uncovered. All right, so what do we want to do here? Oh, it's a cottage, man. 
I mean, I guess we could really sacrifice stuff, and it's not that big of a deal. What does the upgrade of this do? I think so we can do it a little bit more often. Three shields. I mean, that's equivalent of... Well, but no, no, that's terrible, because we have to sacrifice a max HP to get it. No, that's... Yeah, I don't know that this item is that great. It's. I don't think it's bad. I'm trying to figure out, figure out if it's worth... It's definitely not worth upgrading. It's literally lost value by upgrading it once. Right? Like, yeah, it's, it's just literally lost value. Unless you have so many heart containers. But the runs are so short, because I'm pretty sure there's only one more zone currently in early access, that I... The, the realm in which upgrading this is a break-even is low. Like, right? Am I, cra am I crazy? I feel like I'm crazy. Uh, do we want to sacrifice a max HP? If we were sacrificing current HP, I'd be all over it. It's just because we don't have very... Like, we don't have a ton going for us. I think we, uh, I think we wait for now. Like, I'll sacrifice my current HP like a son of a gun, though. Give me a, give me a chest or a shop at this point. I will, uh, I will send that stuff right the hell out of here. Arid. Oh, I, I didn't read it fast enough. Oh, oh, we ice leveling. Is it all icy or just the actual ice? Okay, good. Good, 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 good. So, so we know what we're getting into when we step on an ice tile. Good. I was I was gonna say I was a little worried. I'm also a little worried to see what this curse is gonna look like. Enemies having a damaging aura around them. Can he go? Th he can't go through the wall, can he? Even worse, can his damaging aura go through the wall? That'd be bad. I want to get out of here. But at this point, there's actually not a penalty to it. No, it's actually kind of just nice to be here. Ah, there's an icicle on the ceiling. I bet you... Is it because of a bullet? Either way, they, they look like they are done after uh, after the room's over there. Good, good. I love that. Blessed be, Ben. Thank you very much. That is a huge pet peeve I have with traps in, uh, in roguelikes. Just, unless the room is intended to just be a trap... Oh my god, a trap room. God, the enemy design is so cool. Unless it's just uh, intended to be a trap room, I feel like, uh, you know, turn it off when the enemies are dead. So far, so fine. Hello, scary boy. Do you have extra HP or do you just do extra damage with your shots? I don't think he, I don't think he has extra HP. I think he just has extra damage. I'm fine with that. That I'm cool with. I, I, I like that system in uh, in, in Enter the Gungeon. I only bring that up again because I was literally just talking about it. And I said, I don't like this in Enter the Gungeon. And then it looked like it showed up in here too. But uh, it, it looks like it looks like it might just be extra damage, which I think is totally appropriate. All right. Just getting ready on that dodge. Whoop. Okay, so we have that chest there. Absolutely. We, ha we have HP. We have... Uh, that we can sacrifice here for sure. Oh, oh we slip in the slide. Bop, 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 bop. Heart magazine. Shot speed up 20%. I wonder if that is, this is one of those games where that nets uh, distance. Oh, look at this. I'm not moving it. <laughs> That's so good. That's so good. God, I love it. All right. Oh, we're almost at full HP again. We just need to kill a couple more. Even get a... Uh... Oh, we get a sacrifice here. We can't sacrifice two, can we? No. Uh, I'll happily sacrifice one, though. Happily, happily, happily. That's what's... I guess that's what's nice about this item, is that if we get hit... Wait. Shows what relic to expect in big chest. Okay, well, first of all, that may be good later, but it's not good for me right now. <laughs> it's not good for me right now when I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, shot speed up. What am I? What am I looking at? What am I? What am I? What do I want to look at? 
if you get hit without a shield instead of taking damage. So there we go. That's that's the catch. When you get hit without a shield instead of taking damage. So it's kind of a net gain of... It is a net gain of a shield. It's a net gain of one shield. That's that's the thing. But sa yeah, sacrificing max heart containers to upgrade that ability. It's still... That still stands as um, as a tall order. It's a tall order for sure. I'm not saying it's definitely bad. I'm just saying it's a tall order. Ooh. Okay. Can we... Can we not damage him? Is that what you're doing? Oh, yikes. That is what he's doing. Okay. Okay. That, that makes the room quite a bit trickier. The The existence of that guy means you will not quite be uh, as safe standing in the uh, the doorway. Whoop. It's funny. Like, rain, range ups in some other games, eh, it's a snoozer upgrade. It doesn't do much. In this, I really do think, like, I think it's a big deal. I think it's a really big deal. It's another upgrade that we don't have a... Uh, don't have a key at this point. Oh, these guys are not too bad for us. Oh, not too bad at all. Oh. The fact that we are pushing ourselves around with our shots is making it tough to move around correctly sometimes. Which is, you know, the point of ice, of course. <laughs> like, you don't put ice in the game because you're like, hey, I want them to feel like they uh, have full control. You're like, I want to take away their comfort. Uh-oh. I do not remember what this guy does, and now I will never have to. Okay. Just want to make sure we got that there. Yeah, we, we trivialized so many enemies with this one minor upgrade. Oh, wait. This is just free. Oh, it's a key. I wish we could go back. <laughs> I, I don't know if we would really necessarily want to buy anything, though, with our... Penalty. I think we might be better off saving our HP for potential chests and such. Ooh, this room's a little scarier than the average due to the fact of uh, where we spawn here. All right. Oh, I did a tiny jump when I meant to do a big jump. Okay. Whoop. Whoop. There we go. Trying to utilize that a little bit more there. We, we finally had a good, like, a really good spot for that. Orbital fly. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, 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 oh. We got an unlock. I'm not sure if I checked for a secret room in there or not. I should not heal at the beginning of the room. Okay. Oh, God. I'm so glad we did. Like, is it the fire rate that's helping us kill enemies as quickly as we are? Shooting downward keeps us uh, in the air a little little bit longer, too, which is really, really neat. I feel like this uh, this dash item is, is low-key really good, too, and I'm not using it to its fullest potential. We could have, like, a dash focus build where we could even just... If we lower our cooldown and everything like that, we could just wreck the room without even having to worry. Okay, like, right here, this is a really good room for this. Okay. Do they have a, a distance limit, though? Didn't even notice. Yeah, like that. That's really good in that scenario. Got herself a secret room. What's up? What's up? We have a little reflection back in there. Giving me some serious Paper Mario 64 Frozen Castle vibes. I don't trust you. There's three reflections. Is there something special here? This is a secret room. 
Oh, that's why we have trouble w with our jumps sometimes, is because push when we jump up and we shoot, we get ourselves pushed down. That's right. I feel like there might be something special there. We're on the boss already? Oh my god. We actually have a decent amount of, uh, of HP. That, yeah, that's a really interesting thing with the converter. I guess get... Ooh, I'm spooked. Well, but at the same time, our dash should be really good for him. Oh, no. Oh, my God. This aura! This aura flies to the boss? That aura applies to the boss? Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Oh, I don't know about that at all. Ooh, Nelly! Uh, I, yeah, I would say, like, oh, yikes. I, <laughs> I don't know if I would let that happen. Oh, but I guess, like, because because that's the kind of thing, if certain things like that will apply to the boss, I, I, I guess maybe I won't take cursed items in a lot of scenarios. Because, uh, I mean, obviously that boss is balanced around there not being a giant death aura around him. Oh, no! Ooh, wrecked. Ooh, wrecked. I... Ooh. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. All right, well, we gotta go get some uh, a couple things unlocked. Man, that stinks. We almost, uh, we almost won. That's okay. Tiny pets, bring me my keys. Uh, we have so many unlocks now, though. We have so much to get. First and foremost, I want to double check and see what NPC we got. I don't know where they are. I don't know if they're like outside. I don't know. Where the heck? Hello. Oh, they're up there. The imprisoned wakes. Be careful around that one, child. I feel these those chains won't protect us forever. Look, child, another flower. Aren't they lovely? And for you, a gift. Holy. Checking in. How's my tree doing? Broke it. Secure first time. Jump a total of 500 times. We get the trampoline. Oh, there's so many items already. Cute doll. Try Ragnarok. Beat the gazing grove without take. Wait, we beat the entire first zone without taking a single hit? Holy moly. Beat the fumigated tunnels. All right. Prison key. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Trampoline. I mean, I'm very curious. But yeah, I want to make sure that this is not somebody that we uh, have to give souls to. Quack, quack, quack. Good to see you again, kiddo. Do you mind taking a talking while we work? Got to stay productive. Before that whole mess at the tower, we used to repair all kinds of stuff around here. Now that we are back, we have to make up for lost time. If you have any projects that need doing, we've got you covered. For a price, of course. Chain meter. Defeat enemies quickly to gain more souls. Ooh. A bunch of benches you can sit on. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, soul torches will now spawn in the areas offering a room in the areas in this area's offering room Giving you souls when shot. Oh cool Old lanterns illuminating the hall of the station So these are just decorative, right? But not all of them are a bunch of benches you can sit on they look quite nice in the entrance In the oh, this is like for the gazing grove uh, Sure, right? I feel like we have to get these things, right? They're, they're, they help you on every single run. Like, do I care a ton about getting souls in the first zone? Not a ton. Like, when we get the... Because I imagine that there will be an upgrade uh, eventually that lets it be in all zones. Tiny Pets brings me my keys. I really kind of want to go for the Tri Ragnarok since we uh, apparently did something cool to get it. All right. Good stuff. All right. Well, 
That is that, though, and that is going to do it for today. We got super close. Boy, we'll probably not really take curses for right now. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, but holy moly, that, uh, that radius around that boss was really, really brutal. Really, really brutal. But we start with Tri Ragnarok, and I, I don't get a look at what it does until we get into the next run, but we should have it for tomorrow's episode. But alas, make sure you pick up this game. It is super good, super, super good. Early access, all things subject to change. You know, if there's anything that ever that you ever see that you're like, oh, I don't know a ton if I like that or not, you know, give the, give the feedback and, uh, and, and uh, boy, it's early access. There's, t there's so much time. There's so much time. There's... <laughs> I think there's just the three worlds now, but there is so much replayability since uh, the system of all of these items existing that we have to unlock still, like so many of them, and the fact that they can all be upgraded twice, uh, and you only really get to see that kind of those kind of rewards and upgrades if you are, you know, getting really like quite a bit better at the game. It's really good. Uh, I mean, I suppose you could turn on the accessibility option. We could always do, you could always do something like that to just to see all of the different upgrades and everything without as much fear of dying. But alas, alas, that is that, and that is going to do it for today, Ravita. If you want this series to stick around, hit the like button, do a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the game. I, I personally, I adore it, and I want you guys to give it so much support because I think it is. Uh, I think it is so good and it's just launched in early access super promising so keep giving it love give it feedback give it support thank you for watching check out the channel for roguelikes and more every single day and i will see you next time bye